Hey guys, this is Amrin guys. So in this tutorial, we are going to bind text entries. You can see over here. This is my text entry box. And my UI gets updated as I type inside my text entry box. And this is my switch that is going to be bind to. So create a new Xamarin forms.net standard project. And then in our main page, here I have set safe area as two so that the given layout will not overlap the notes area for iPhones. This is my simple stack layout which contains label text as person name. I'll put a space over there. And then entry will be a bindable one as its value is going to be changed as per user request. This is my switch that is also is going to be a bindable one. This label will show the resulting output changes that is happening inside entry box as well as the switches. Now let us go inside our code behind of mainpage.xaml. Here I have said binding context is equals to new. We have to create a given view model. You can give any name as you like but for convention only. We are going to add a given view model class over here as an empty class my new view model this is our view model class that we will be calling it from code behind of main page so let's go over there here we have said binding context is equals to new the given view model that we have defined inside view model folder that will be inherited from there so let us quick fix it that's all we have told that all the controls that are defined inside our main page view that is our entry control as well as switch view control will be interacting with our new view model class that we have already defined inside our binding context. We know that our control such as entry text as person name is going to be changed. That's why we'll put a string for the given person name and then we'll use some getters as well as setter so that our property is going to be changed whenever user triggers that this our person name that is going to be returned and then this is the place where we are going to use all the property change event before that we'll be implementing this code for all the three conditions that is for our work in entry box we'll use the same as public string works in that I have already defined over here. You can see over here where the binding will be done with same name. And then at first the string will be returned. And then here our property gets changed for that given string. Now for that given switch, whether it is toggled or not. We'll be setting it as a boolean condition as true or as well as false here we'll get the switch condition and then return it back and then set it to a given value that's all now let us change all the controls property by using i notify property changed this our public event property i'll place it over here now this is the only thing that you have to understand Whenever our property gets changed, then we'll be calling that member name as string name and then we'll be changing that property for the given class as new property change even arguments for the given name that is defined inside runtime.compiler service. So we'll be calling this method for multiple controls now you can run your project but if you want to see what are being changed then you can use this on property change name of binding level name as so message that we have defined inside jaml part of main page let's put a semicolon over there this is my binding level name that is being changed for entry controls and for our switches here we'll tell that our binding label name as so message will return all the strings whose property are being changed as it's going to take the person name as well as works in strings okay let's add another string that is being changed and then The switch if it is toggled 
then it is going to tell as is saved to database or else it is not being saved to a given database that's all let us change to MR now let us build and run our project whether it gives us correct output or not okay we got our expected output let's change the entry now let us toggle it on okay strings are being changed that's all thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials